In this video, we are going to look at how to calculate factorial of a number, right? So let's get into the code immediately. We are going to use JavaScript for the same. I'm running it on uh, ripple.it. So factorial. We are going to use the recursion for this. This is a basic recursion function. So let's get started with our solution. Okay, so first of all, it, the solution will take in a number. <coughs> and we'll call this solution with the number say 5. We want to calculate the factorial of 5. Now what is a factorial? Factorial of 5 would be uh, factorial of 5 would be 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 2 plus 1 right? Plus 1. So what can we look at? Uh, how can we think of of it in recursion right so in recursion you first of all go deep so i'll go deep five to four to three to one and then once i reach a point where i have to return then i work on something right so there are two types of recursion one is where i do some calculation calculate while going deep And another is calculate while returning and some are where you use both so calculate while going deep as well as while returning so we'll be looking at these examples later but for this particular purpose we'll be using this which is calculate while returning right so we'll go deep from 5 to 4 to 3 to 1 to 2 to 2 1 so how to go deep simple you go deep by calling solution and passing num minus 1 right you, you have 5 you want to pass in 4 you want you are at 4 you want to pass in 3 you are at 3 or pass it 2 so you simply subtract it by one you're going deeper that way right when you are at the edge you want to re start returning right so you'll write if you have to write this at the very beginning of the function if the for uh, the uh, to mark the edge of going deeper so if num is equal equal to one you return one okay so whatever you return now what what are you going to do calculate while returning right uh, so what are you going to calculate while returning you're going to keep on adding right now we just need to keep on adding to the current number so you get back one you need to add it with two you get back the total of this which is three you need to add it to 3. You get a total of this, you need to add it to 4. You get a total of these four numbers, you get to add it to 5. Right, so I'll just add current num with whatever I get back. Right, that is my calculation. Okay, and whatever this calculated output is, I'm going to return it. That's it that's all that you've got to do right so let's run and see if it is working factorial of 5 is 15 factorial of 100 would be 5050 and how about factorial of 1? Good.
great and now once your uh, condition your program is ready to handle 90% of the cases we look at the edge cases what if uh, the number is zero so we need to if num is equal to is less than one on zero or negative return with nothing right a throw error you could throw an error or you could return undefined what we will be preferring okay but you don't want to calculate this check this every time right so the recursion function you can move out once that's the case right function recursion num right so recursion function is simply moved out and here you do all the base checks uh, I also before that I would also want to check if uh, num is an integer right so we can do that number dot is integer and pass a num look into this if this works return okay if, if it is num then fine uh, if it is if it is an integer then fine otherwise if it is not an integer then return right so let's run and see for some values that are zero and minus one and maybe text one let's run and see so i got undefined for all which is which is true because i did not add this recursion here right so i need to add this recursion here and return whatever i get back right let's run that now so for the first three i'm getting undefined for the last three i'm getting the values back this is exactly how we want it to behave right so that's about it this is the simplest factor factorial problem that i've displayed in recursion we have also added a number of checks edge cases checks and also used recursion a simplest form of recursion also we discussed about uh, various ways you can implement recursion all right see you in the next one